Have you ever heard of energy medicine? Do you know what it is? There are many forms of energy medicine, from light therapy to acupuncture. In this episode, we'll visit with Dr. Sylvia Binder to discuss the state of the art in energy medicine and how this current technology may help improve your stress tolerance and immune health. So stay tuned, you won't want to miss this episode of Immortality Now. Dr. Ron Klatz, President of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine, bringing you another edition of Immortality Now, where we get to discuss what's new and exciting in the world of anti-aging medicine and biotechnology with uh, Dr. Sylvia Bindner from Germany. Germany, and yes. also I'm an American citizen. Oh, that helps. So that does help. <laughs> okay. So I primarily live in Germany, but I travel the world. And it's very interesting to dive into other cultures and into to the government regulations, working with patients and physicians in different setups and clinics, uh, learning what they do about uh, energy medicine, alternative medicine, integrative and or anti-aging. You were presenting here at the World Congress on Anti-Aging Medicine on the uh, big push around the world for integrative medicine. Tell us about some of the highlights of your lecture. Well, number one, integrative medicine can also be exchanged for the word anti-aging medicine. But as a global trend, it's really it's a it's a snowball effect from patients, physicians, and health departments of branching out, opening that box of regular medicine, allopathic medicine, and adding other modalities such as traditional Chinese medicine or Ayurvedic medicine, or devices such as pulse electromagnetic fields. The world has come not quite full circle, but it certainly is moving in that direction because medicine 100 years ago, not even 100 years ago, 50 years ago, mm -hmm. was mostly natural medicine, was mostly natural methods, was uh, traditional health care that's gone back thousands of years. And uh, then with the monopoly of the pharmaceutical industries taking over uh, medical education, medical research. There had to be a pill for every ill. And now we're moving back to more natural hmm. methods of healing, whether it be hands-on healing, whether they be uh, manipulative therapies, whether hmm. it be hormonal uh, or herbal or nutritional. We're getting back to a balance, and I hmm. think that's a good thing. And, and I know that was part of your presentation. That's right, back to the roots. We can use all the good substances, all the things that have worked for thousands and thousands of years, just reintroduce it, refine it, and make it legal again. <laughs> and for <laughs> practitioners to use what really the, what is available to everybody. And your, your, your expertise, your unique expertise is in energy medicine, and uh, you've been bringing these uh, devices here to the United States for many years, and your devices are being used in clinics around the world. That is correct. Energy medicine is nothing new. Acupuncture, if you take that for example, is a form of energy medicine and has been around for thousands of years. And acupuncture uses a grid, the grid of the meridians, and the meridians are energy pathways. And when a trained traditional Chinese medicine doctor, for example, would look at their patient and there would be neck pain, they would know where to place an acupuncture needle in a, either a meridian point or in an acupuncture point to redistribute energy and to redistribute the flow of uh, fluid. And what is the philosophy, the theory, the technology behind the OnDemed system? It's a personalized approach. OnDemed takes the body off the grid. We do not need meridians and acupuncture points to stimulate the body to relieve tension, to relieve inflammation, and to relieve pain. And what OnDemed does is we are sending vector-driven focused fields, pulsating fields, into the uh, patient's body while feeling the patient's uh, radio pulse, so stimulating the system, and then we are receiving the feedback. We can get to the underlying reason of why the pain is there and stimulate the dysfunctional side responsible for the pain. It is uh, an intelligent system that helps us to get a different perspective of the patient to find uh, dysfunctional tissue areas that uh, 
maybe areas of infection, of inflammation, scar tissue, emotional trauma or shock that is unresolved and still residing on a cellular basis in form of a memory. It all boils down to an area in the body that is inflamed that while we know the white blood cell count is up, we don't know where the inflammation is sitting and the OnDemand reveals that information with the help of the patient. So we can accelerate the healing process of a patient when adding OnDemand to existing treatment modalities. Well, thank you, Sylvia. That was very insightful and uh, God bless you. I think you're doing uh, important work. And thank you for presenting at this year's uh, American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine. I'm Dr. Ron Klatz for Immortality Now. God bless and be well. Funding for Immortality Now was provided by Energy Development, better health through non-invasive technology. For more information, visit energydev.com. And by OnDemet, this non-invasive therapeutic approach uses biofeedback and pulsed electromagnetic stimulation to help patients improve their stress tolerance. To learn more or to find a practitioner near you, go to ondemed.net.